Hey Google, hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Hey everybody, welcome back here. So if you have a Google Nest Hub, and if you see your Google Assistant start saying it can't recognize your voice, or maybe you were just asking some comment to the Google Assistant, it's not replying you back, it's not listening, well, then you can have a problem. Now, in order for you to solve your Google Assistant is not listening or not working on your Google Nest Hub, you need to follow some way to solve that problem. Now, this problem can happen for minor bugs or glitches, software, and hardware. Therefore, the first things we're going to take a look at on the microphone itself. Now, if your microphone don't work on your device, then this issue can happen. Therefore, the first thing that you want to check, make on. sure to turn on your microphone on your Google Nest Hub, and then go ahead and check your issues. And the next thing we're going to talk about is your Google Assistant itself. So all you want to do, you want to grab your phone and then you want to just open up your home application either on your iPhone or your Android. Once you open this up here, the first thing that we're going to talk about is your settings. Now just go ahead and tap on your settings here and then you want to scroll down to your Google Assistant. And so just go ahead and tap on there and then it is going to show you the three different options. First, it says voice and match. Now this is where you've got to work first, okay? Now if your voice doesn't match or if you didn't set it up properly, then this problem can happen. So first, you got to come down here, tap on uh, remove voice match from this home and tap on remove here and you got to retrain your voice again. So all you want to do is tap on get started and follow along. Tap on continue, scroll it down and just tap on I agree to the terms and conditions. Now it's activating your voice match, so wait a little. Now tap on this arrow icon, now tap on turn on. Now tap on done. Well now you gotta just tap here where it says teach your assistant your voice again. Now tap retrain. All right, now once you come on the page of your mobile device here, you gotta set up your Google Assistant with the voice. Now just follow along and set it all up. Well, once you've just done that process here, all you wanna do, you wanna go back here and you wanna check out some other settings. Now, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is your Google sensitive videos. Okay, so you wanna just tap on the manage all assistant settings on your Google, and then you wanna scroll down here and you wanna tap on your Google sensitive videos. So just go ahead and tap on, hey, Google sensitive video here. Now go ahead and tap on the back of your display or whatever the name you might have for your Google Nest Hub here. And now you wanna just move to most sensitive. Now what is gonna happen if you put it on there, then your Google Assistant is gonna listen to you even more carefully, okay? Now after that, just go back here and now you're all set. Well, even after checking that out, if you feel like still you've got the same problem with your device where you can't really make your Google Assistant, you know, to be able to listen to you properly, then the next thing that you got to do, well, this is kind of like a bonus tip that you can follow to solve your problem. So all you want to do, you want to open up your Google Home application here, just go ahead and tap on the name of your device here, and then you want to tap on settings. And now this is going to show you this option called audio. Just tap on your audio here and then scroll down and make sure to enable this feature is called lower volume when listening. Just turn it on and now just go ahead and get out of here. And now you gotta restart your device. Just go ahead and unplug it, unplug it back on and your problem will be solved. So these are the ways that you guys can follow in water for you to solve your Google Nest Hub. It's not listening when you're just commanding or making commands to your Google Assistant. Hope you find this very useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching guys and I'll talk to you later.